Good afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to start off and uh, say today is the 5th of January. And I wanted to go over uh, a bag that I've done before, but I've changed it a little bit. I'm one of those people, I'm always changing stuff. Uh, this black bag here was uh, originally set up as a everyday bag. But I figured it was too big, too large, so I uh, scaled it back some. And uh, I use this as one of my work EDC bags. Yes, I know I have a lot of reputation, or, or not reputation, uh, redundancies by carrying two bags at work. Uh, but you'll see why. This is the one I keep in the cab of the truck. But this is actually going to be more of my everyday uh, car bag. So, like, if I go out to my car and we're going somewhere, normally I'll throw this in the car. Um, plus, I have my other bags in the back. But this bag's smaller, uh, a lot lighter in weight. But I wanted to go over the bag a little bit, show you what it has, um, what it doesn't have. And uh, let you know what you think. Let me know what you think of what I'm carrying. Probably tell me I'm carrying too much, but who knows. Uh, if you do, that's fine. Uh, feedback never hurts. Uh, this bag here is actually a bag from Walmart. It actually held up pretty well. This is now probably a year to two years old bag. Um, it does have a bigger, wider pouch here. Um, the inner pouches with organizers, okay. And then on the back here is the the loops, and then in here is another pouch. Um, I've changed the strap on it that came with it. I went to a larger, uh, heavier duty uh, strap. I don't remember if this is the one that came with this or off of another bag, but. Uh, this also has loops on it so I can attach stuff to it. So that's a little bit on the, the bag. Uh, I think the bag was like, I don't know, 20, 20, 22 bucks, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna try to go through this. I'm gonna probably uh, administrative wise, uh, pause it every so often as I put the stuff in the bag so you can see how it is. Hopefully I can get all this stuff back in, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I'll go over some of the stuff I carry. Uh, one of the biggest items is in an everyday bag. Um, I keep uh, items, so if I need something to eat, I have it with me. Uh, some of the stuff I keep in here, of course, the uh, tuna fish foil packs. Um, so I have this with... It's uh, 110 calories, but it has 16 grams of protein. So it's giving you some protein. So in a short term, uh, real minor event, um, maybe a day event, I would have something to eat if I needed. If I carry this bag at work, um, some days we get in our truck and we don't see our station. So I like to have extra stuff with me. I keep one of those. I may add a second one yet. Not sure. Uh, space is limited, so I gotta watch. Uh, I do carry cliff bars. The big thing with the cliff bars is, of course, they also have um, 260 of calories and proteins, 11 grams of protein. So it does have some protein to it, which is a good thing. So I keep two of those in here. And, and another thing I carry, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but to me, I'm okay eating it any way I get it, is uh, Spam. It's a single pack. Uh, Calorie-wise, it has 210 calories, uh, 9 grams of protein. And the biggest thing with all this stuff is I don't have to heat it. I can eat all this uh, without having it warmed up. Uh, that's why I carry it the way I do. And... Uh, just to show you, uh, some of the important stuff to realize is the expiration date on this one 
is not until October 30th of 2021. So I still have, you know, two plus years before this would expire. The clip bars, I don't remember uh, when they expire off the top of my head. I'm trying to look for an expiration date on here. Um, August of 2019. So I still have about a um, couple months yet. I, I do use these a lot, so I do rotate them quite frequently. Um, tuna fish is also good till July of 2021. So I still have another two years. So uh, that's a little bit on the food stuff. Uh, not real fancy, just some basics. I also do carry a couple of uh, lifesavers. Uh, if you need a quick pick-me-up uh, type stuff, I keep about five or six of those in my, my bag. Enough for a quick pick-me-up, keep me going uh, during, during uh, work stuff. And I was wrong, it's actually eight lifesavers, and then I keep a, a spork. The only bad part about the, the spork, which I'm going to probably change this to a different type of silverware, still carry it, but change it to something else, is the spork's not very deep. So, like, if you're using the tuna fish, uh, you may have to put that pack down a lot more because you can't reach the bottom with this. But um, it will work to be able to eat when you're on the way. Uh, and it does have a bottle opener and some other stuff on it if you need it. So, I'm going to put this in the bag and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just some other stuff I keep in my bag. Uh, alcohol preps. Uh, fire starter. Can also be used for... Uh, with me being a diabetic, sometimes I have to check, check my sugar. So I keep extra of those. Or if I need to clean up, uh, can be used as a disinfectant if need be. Uh, some 2 by 2s I keep in my bag. Uh, hand warmers, okay. Uh, all different types of uses. People forget about, you know, one is um, you could always throw these in your pockets if your hands are cold, it's real cold out. Um, can be used like that. If you have like a sleeping bag, uh, you can always throw these in the bottom of the sleeping bag before you go to bed. Uh, help keep the bag a little warm. Uh, may not be the best, but things to think about. And uh, in hypothermia type event, uh, something that you would find that was injured, you could always take these, uh, put them up under their arms, the back of their knees, try to, uh, something like this, and try to keep them warm or try to get the body temperature up. I keep uh, three of those in my bag. Another thing I keep with me is N95 masks, especially right now. Um, flu is a big thing right here in PA, so I keep it, two N95 masks in my bag. So if I'm out, um, I may try to add a third. Right now, it would only cover me and the wife. I don't have a small N95 mask for my son. And try to find one at work to add it to this. Uh, that way, all th I'd have uh, three of those in this bag. Uh, you never know. Uh, nobody else is following. Another thing is, is there's been a possible uh, case of Ebola uh, outside the area where it's been affected overseas. Um, don't know, I didn't get a chance to do all my research on it yet. Uh, I know they had a, a case possibly uh, they were monitoring in the United States, but I think that was uh, unconfirmed yet. And then there's one in Sweden, I think it was, or somewhere like that. Um, no major outbreaks, but uh, things to think about, you know, if you're in an infectious area or whatever with, with anything, having some type of uh, protection for yourself. So I keep that in there. Um, I keep a notebook in there. Uh, our animals used to carry these. We no longer do uh, because of electronics. I like them to write on because it has their their name, address, uh, vital stuff like that, uh, age, etc. You can write down allergies, meds, stuff like that. You can try to jot on here 
the back of them are blank, so I can always write on the back of them as a notepad. But I keep one of those in the bag. Um, another thing I carry for uh, wound care is the gauze fluff roll. Okay, this is four inch by four and a half uh, yards. Okay, this would be good for wound pack uh, because it's very bulky and it's good for the packing of a wound if I needed to. Uh, another thing I carry is the uh, assault, assault airway, okay? One, I'm not going to go into details about it, but this is an, uh, as a BLS provider, I am trained to be able to use this in the state of Pennsylvania. We carry them on our work trucks, but I, uh, these do work. Uh, it's a quick airway. Uh, the paramedic can then uh, put an innovation tube inside of this if they needed to put a tube down in somebody's lung. But I have to remove it. Um, but I carry that in my bag. Another thing I also carry is glucose. Um, so if you get a diabetic, uh, I can use it for that. Or um, in a quick emergency, if I needed to, and you were needing sugar um, in a disaster, you could always use this too. Because remember, this pouch is 31 grams. So it has about 60 calories. Uh, there's no protein, but uh, carbs, it's 15 grams. So if you need a quick pick-me-up, this would, could work in, in an emergency. Um, some of the other stuff I carry in my bag that some people may not is a nasal airway, uh, universal size. Um, this is more for me. Uh, they do come in like six to ten different sizes. I keep it for me in my bag, but this will fit uh, quite a few people in an emergency. I also keep a bigger syringe. Uh, this is a 30cc. Uh, if I needed to, I could possibly use this almost like a suction or whatever else I needed to irrigating a wound, whatever. That's another option. I do also carry a pen light, okay? Be able to check the pupils and on the side here, it does show pupil sizes. Um, another thing I do carry is an LED angled light. Uh, this isn't a high end light. Uh, I think I paid a couple bucks for it, uh, but I liked it because it does have the elbow. So I keep this in my bag. Uh, for lighting, especially if I needed to. One, if I had um, a way to clip it on something, I could clip it on my shirt or on the bag strap, whatever, and add some lighting to the situation. Because um, you never know what you're going to run into. I'm going to pause this again and uh, put some of this stuff away, and then I'll be right back. Uh, I also keep a CPR shield which also has gloves in it kept inside this bag an oral airway that would fit myself or I could use it on some other people remember that I do have the background to use it um, emergency blanket um, I also carry with me another thing I keep in this bag blood pressure cuff, uh, which I'm also trained to use. Another thing I carry is uh, play packs for kids. There's three or four of those activity books in here. Crayons, okay. the mini crayons, bigger crayons. I figured I could use them as fire starters if I needed to or let them color. Some small wire ties to attach stuff if I needed to. There's a about uh, six or eight of each in there. Um, so I have that in there. Uh, some paracord. Uh, not sure if it's the true stuff. Uh, it looks like seven strand by the end, but uh, I do carry a little bit of the cordage with me. Uh, another thing I do keep on the outside of the bag, and I'll show you how it's all connected. Uh, this is actually a seatbelt cutter window punch, but I have a mini D or type uh, 
ring to clip it to, S clip to clip it to my uh, zipper on the bag. So if I need it, it's with the bag. Um, I also keep a folding knife in here. Uh, it's a Smith and Wesson knife. It's a little bit lightweight, fits in the bag nice. I keep it in one of the pouches. So that's an add-on that I keep in there. Um, some other stuff I keep in here, a spare set of uh, reading glasses or as I call it, Alzheimer's glasses because sometimes I can't see. So I keep a spare set of uh, glasses in my bag. I also keep uh, a pen using an old eyeglass case, pen light, and a Sharpie marker. Various uses for Sharpies, marking my tourniquets, a rapid triage I can mark on on people, if, if the, how serious they are, I can quickly uh, assess them at that point, or whatever else I need. Um, another thing I keep in here is uh, survival instructions, first aid instructions. Uh, not always for me, but if somebody else would find the bag and they need it, it has some information in it. Um, this is the survival instructions. Okay. Uh, I forget where I got these. I think they came with uh, one of my first aid kits. It's advanced uh, medical. Okay. So it has survival on the top. Medication instructions. Different medications. Uh, which ones to use, non-prescription, prescription. Talks about a set of minifin, uh, ibuprofen, uh, aspirin are the big ones on that. This one's on wound care, burns and blisters. Okay. And then this one's on bleeding and CPR. Okay. So I keep all them in a little plastic bag. And they're kept in the bag also. Um, you never know when you're going to need stuff. So I keep all this stuff in there. Um, just because you never know who's going to find you. So that's kept in this little Ziploc bag. So it doesn't get wet in an emergency. Which then I could also use the bag if I needed to for whatever. Um... So that's just another add-on that I have in my bag. Uh, so that's that. Another thing I'm carrying on my bag, this is attached to the outside. This is a soft key tourniquet. I have one of those in my bag. This is a soft key. I keep it in this little pad attached to the outside. Tourniquet number one. Um, Tourniquet number two, SWAT P, various uses. This is also kept in the bag. Um, this in, in one of the uh, outside pouches, I normally keep this. This is a second tourniquet. Another thing attached to the outside of the bag um, is a small survival kit. I know I'm probably carrying way too much stuff, but I like to be prepared. Um, so this is what's in the survival kit. I have the paperwork so I know what's inside here. Also has a little D-ring on it. Um, so I have uh, fishing capability with this pouch. So that's another add-on that I have on my bag. Um, some other stuff I keep in here uh, is a fire kit. And Hopefully I can get this all back together eventually, but we'll see. This fire kit's a little different, but I keep quite a bit in it. Um, one, I made up little baggies with the uh, Vaseline and uh, petroleum gel with the cotton balls. I think there's uh, one, two, three, four, there's eight in here. So I would have a capability of starting a fire. This is a, a striker and the, the rod start a fire. I got this at the uh, meet and greet for diggers. 
Uh, this was uh, given out by uh, Prepper X. So I have that in here. Lighter. Wet fire. And a box of waterproof matches. Okay. With the strikers on them. So I can start a fire that way also. So I'm going to pause this, put this stuff in the bag. Another thing I keep in here is a battery box. Be able to uh, charge my uh, cell phone or any other electronics. I keep my charger for my phone and some of the other older phone jump for uh, type wires and the charger for it. So as long as I can get to an outlet, I can also charge it. Uh, this will normally Long I'm not constantly running my phone, this will normally at least charge my phone once, uh, depending on how hard we're using it. Uh, so I keep that also in that bag. I also keep a sharpening stone, probably not the best one, but uh, small, it's little, it does fit in the bag. Uh, so I keep that in there. Um, another thing I keep on my outside of it is this uh, knife. Uh, I did try it. The uh, ferro rod does work. Uh, it does spark. So I have one of those on it. Paracorded handle. Uh, I added a uh, S-ring to it so I can clip it onto the bag. So I, I do have a knife. So I do have two knives in that bag then if I need it. Um... Keep this uh, cheap saw. Probably not going to cut a whole lot. It does have the two rings on it, which would probably make it a little easier to saw with. Or my other thing is, if I could, is I get a sapling, um, bend it, and make it into you know, like a bow saw. If I had to, it would probably be easier to cut if I needed to. So I also carry that in the bag. Another thing I do carry is a uh, uh, emergency whistle with a lanyard, a set of earplugs. Also have them rolled up with a ranger band. Uh, one because you can take that ranger band. One I could probably cut it again if I needed to, or I could also throw that into a fire first and added fuel uh, if need be. I keep uh, four AAA batteries. Um, I also have the batteries for this. This is also another uh, battery operated USB charger. Okay, so I can use that also. Charge the device, plug it in there. Has the lights on the front, let you know how long. Um, I also have the AA batteries to go with that. So I have that. Okay, another four pack. Um, another thing that I carry, and I've shown you some of this stuff before. Uh, I'm not going to open it because I don't know if I'll get everything back in. But, uh, Use rubber bands and everything else to attach stuff to here. Carry a small little button compass, okay. Tea bags, aqua tabs, a small keychain flashlight. And if you were to take these off, inside here, and I've gone over this before. I may change containers, I haven't decided yet. Uh, is a wire saw that I could also make into a bow saw. Uh, I use water balloons. Uh, they're small, uh, but I fear they may have a use for them if I can get a hold of water. There's a fishing line in here. Um, 
course, buttons, a sewing kit, some uh, needles to sew with, bouillon cubes, uh, some matches, fire tinder, uh, P38 and a P58, I think it is, the small and the larger uh, ones in there, and... Uh, the uh, safety pins is a real small fishing kit. Probably not the best. Uh, I may try to make another one myself uh, with uh, more fishing line than that, but it does have some fishing line in there. So it would work in an emergency if need be. So I'm going to set that there. I also carry a music player. Okay. Uh, so I have a way to listen to music. I forget how many gigs are on here, but I ca have probably about uh, a day's worth of music, probably like eight hours worth of music, maybe even longer. I'll have to start it and find out. But I have that on here. Um, some cough drops. You get dry mouth, that'll work in an emergency. Uh, Vicks uh, Vapor Rub uh, helps with coughing. Also, if you get something that smells really bad, you put this under your nose, you'll smell this more than you will the uh, bad smell. Or I'll take some of this, put it in my uh, N95 mask so you don't smell it as bad. That'll work in a, in a hurry. Uh, I've, you've all seen this before. This is my small... Uh, additional first aid kit slash whatever you want to call it uh, tide wipes meds um, all that type of stuff emergency blanket uh, so I have two of those in here uh, more throat loss in your lifesavers uh, Pepto eye wash flushes over-the-counter meds you name it there's a bunch of stuff in here uh, basic bandages band-aids sunscreen stuff like that is all stuff in there
Sorry about that long uh, pause as I was repackaging this. And that was uh, still running, but uh, actually fit everything nicely into this pouch box now. Uh, so that was a little easier for me versus this one with everything attached to the outside. Now everything's inside. And uh, another pouch I carry is a uh, cigarette lighter charger for my car with a six foot uh, USB port. A uh, probably not the best, but a uh, flashlight. Okay, with the bev uh, beveled end. It does zoom. Probably not the best one, but I uh, figured I could use that to strike something if I needed to. But I keep that in here. It's on the outside of my bag. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, along with uh, a set of earbuds for my uh, music player. Um, sometimes I'll throw the external speaker in. Okay. So this may say I'm loud since this is the one I'm recording with. It's a two-way Bluetooth, or I can plug it in also. Uh, but that um, works very well. Uh, so just different things that are out there. Uh, like I said, that's how my bag's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I add stuff in and out. I keep my uh, glucometer with a D-ring on it. I can clip that onto the outside of that bag. And then uh, carry my own EpiPen if I need it. Uh, and then I have miscellaneous other knives I can add to the bag. Or just throw this whole keychain thing in there. It's a uh, true uh, Swiss Army knife. Uh, strike anywhere. Um, device. Mini. Uh, survival tube, another mini uh, multi-tool, um, which has Phillips screwdriver, stuff like that on it. Uh, just different things I carry with me. Uh, so, thanks for listening. I know this was a long video. Uh, hopefully, this gives you some ideas. Uh, if anybody has questions, concerns, let me know. Um, I may do another video, probably not today, on my uh, other... Uh, bag that I redid which was that real small deer hunting bag uh, another thing I keep in this bag is actually my eyeglass wipe thing this thing is awesome I love it uh, it works really well uh, for keep cleaning my glasses uh, I've never have enough stuff like that when you're out and about so um, if you have any questions concerns sorry this is a lengthy video but as you've seen I thought this was important uh, especially nowadays with everything going on. You never know what you're going to walk into. Um, so be prepared. Not scared. Um, this will be Rescue Boss signing out and thank you for listening.